Hi guys, I'm going to try and make this super speedy because I have a tendency to ramble when I do a um, album flip through. But I thought I would just show you where I'm at with my 2017 project life so far. Um, I, I have a feeling I've already shown you some of this before and I think I've done a couple of process videos so you might recognise some of the spreads. But I thought it would be fun. I know that people like to see inside other people's Project Life albums, so let's just get straight into it. So this is my title page for 2017. I did a similar thing at the beginning of 2016 and I really loved it, so I wanted to do it again this year. Uh, but this year I went with purely black and white photos. So these like family portraits were taken on... Um, Christmas Day? Yeah, Christmas Day 2016. I think it's funny to see the sort of like behind the scenes type photos. Um, there's one of myself and Winnie and Will with Archie. Uh, me and Will and then just a selfie and I've got some goals for this year up there as well. I made this using one of the Like Forever kits but sadly Like Forever doesn't exist anymore. So I'm really sorry that you're going to have to have this weird situation on this side. Basically my tripod is terrible, I can just never fit anything in shot so I'm just going to have to <laughs> work with it I'm afraid. Um, these photos were from New Year's Eve and I think I've said it before but I always start my albums with New Year's Eve. I know some people like to end their albums with New Year's Eve but I like to start them that way. Um, again, I used a Like Forever kit for these pages. Um, there's some just funny photos from the evening. And then I have a 12 by 12 photo of myself and all the girls. Uh, lots of people ask me where I get my 12 by 12 photos done and I get them printed at DS Colour Labs. And I've got another one on the back of Winnie and Archie when we were at the woods. There's some more photos from that walk here and here. This is a collage that I made on Pick Stitch, and um, this little die cut was from the Like Forever kit and it said, less talk, more walk, <laughs> and I thought that was quite apt. I've got just pictures from everyday life. Again, this was all from a Like Forever kit, and um, I've got my ticket for Cam's Planicon. Again, this was that same Like Forever kit, just snippets of everyday life really, which is the way I like it. This is a drawing that um, my one-to-one -one did for me. So I work part-time as a one-to-one -one for children who have additional learning needs. Um, and last year I worked, well, last year and most of this year, I worked with one particular little boy and he used to like drawing so he drew me all his favourite Pokemon and of course I had to keep it. Um, and then on the back he drew me a Geodude which is a type of Pokemon with lots of treasure at the end of a rainbow <laughs> so I kept that as well. Um, it's got his name underneath this post-it note so that's why that's there. Um, there's lots of post-it notes throughout the album just covering up children's faces and things like that so um, I haven't just stuck random pink post-it notes in the middle of my album. Again, just more little bits and bobs. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Um, again, more just little bits and bobs, all the stuff of life. Um, and again, this was a Like Forever kit, but I believe the collection was Little by Little by Shamel Lane, if you um, want to track down some of these pieces. Again, I've got a collage, I use lots of collages, and um, that was made on Pick Stitch as well. I really feel like I've shown you this album before, but do you know what, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm sure there'll be people who haven't seen it or who want to see it again. These pages were made with a mix of um, things from Like Forever Kits and things from Brimbles Boxes because at the time I was still a design team member for the Brimbles Box. I still am a design team member for Anna but she doesn't do the Brimbles Boxes anymore, she does the sticker kits. Um, so yeah, 
some of this was from the February Brimbles box. I think I'm feeling like I've shown you these pages before because I made them at the Like Forever scrapbook retreat and I think I showed them to you afterwards. That might be what I'm thinking of, but anyway. Um, again, just more little bits and pieces. You'll notice that a lot of um, the photos in my scrapbook, they're just life, like they're just life in general. I see a lot of people saying that they don't have enough to share um, to do Project Life, but I don't think that's true at all. I think anyone can do Project Life. Um, yeah, a lot of my stuff is just, you know, the boring every day. Here we had some snow. I got a scrapbook order. It was Valentine's Day. It was our niece's birthday. I think this was when I was in Creativity Magazine for the second time. And I tracked down two of Winnie's puppies. So my dog Winnie has um, been used for breeding in the past. I have never used her for breeding. I rehomed her. Um, but she had two registered litters of puppies in 2011 and 2013 and I managed to track down two of the boys from the first litter. We are still in February at this point, I believe. This was Winnie's first proper trip to the beach, which was just so lovely. Uh, this is my parents' lovely black lab, Tilly, who sadly was put to sleep in June. So I'm really glad I had this picture of her in there. This is a 6x8 photo, which I've popped on um, a transparency, just to make it fit the um, 8x8 page protector but that was when we went to the beach I snapped a picture of them before we went and on the other side I hope you can see that is a 6x8 photo of Winnie going up to the sea again I've got um, a post-it note there just to protect someone's privacy um, we went out for breakfast the shed was put up so that the bunnies could move in just little bits and pieces and I've got a lot of hidden journaling so for example on this card I made the um, photo into a pocket and my journaling is on the back of that tag um, I do that a lot it's one of my favorite techniques because I like to cram in as much as I possibly can we've gone into March I've got these monthly dividers but I just haven't put the months on yet um, I put a deposit down on this little bunny, um, bear was neutered, you can see his bum poking out of the bed. Uh, this layout I made at the Like Forever scrapbook retreat last March. Um, it was a picture of a sunset and this paper just matched it perfectly. Um, and then I've got this layout on the back which I also made at the retreat. Uh, it's just a photo of myself and some of my friends when we went on a night out. This page is all about Archie's first birthday, which was also in March. Um, there's photos of them in their birthday bandanas with Archie's birthday cake. And this was made with, I think, the April Like Forever kit. This page here is um, about the Like Forever retreat. I really hope you can see it maybe I don't know um so I've got a little flip up thing here I've got some selfies um of me with some of the ladies that were there and then that's our whole group photo um I took this beautiful cherry blossom picture you might be able to see it better this way I took this cherry blossom picture this is me with my welcome gift a tag that was on my gift from Nicola um, I've got a picture of my cup of tea looking out onto the fields because we stayed in these little snugs and they were just amazing. I cannot wait to go back um, because I'm going back next March but it's not organised by Like Forever because they don't exist anymore but a couple of us really wanted to get a retreat together again for next year so we're going again next year but just as friends um, to scrapbook basically. The food was amazing, here's the scrap room. Yeah, loved that. 
got a 12 by 12 photo from the following weekend. We took the dogs up to Yorkshire. I can't remember if I've really spoken about our trip to Yorkshire much on um, my channel, but it was kind of a nightmare. Like, I'm grateful that we went because it taught us a lot of things about what to do and what not to do when you travel with the dogs, especially when your dogs are reactive. And I've got some lovely photos. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. The dogs were just really badly behaved, but part of it was us. Like we we weren't equipped to deal with their bad behavior at this point, basically. Um, Archie and Winnie are both really reactive, so they they have issues and we're working on them, working really hard on them, in fact. Um, and we're getting there, but it can be hard to travel with them. So um, this trip taught us a lot. Um, but it meant I could use some of my, um, like, bad day <laughs> uh, cards as well. This one says, don't even ask. <laughs> and then on the back, I've got this one that says, ha 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 ha, no. Because <laughs> these photos are also from our trip to Yorkshire. This is heading into April. I've got an 8x8 eight eight drawing that my one-to-one -one did. Apparently that is me. <laughs> so, yeah. And then that's a picture of me with the dogs because the weekend after Yorkshire, we decided to go to Hailing Island, or it might have been two weeks after. We went to um, Hailing Island, our parents' caravan there, um, for a long weekend because I think it was a bank holiday, maybe it was the Easter weekend or something. Oh no, I think that was the next week. Um, we went there for a long weekend anyway and it was a much better experience because as I said, the trip to Yorkshire really taught us what to do and what not to do when we traveled with the dogs and they were just so much better. So that was a much more positive experience. But these are all photos from that weekend. I went to the Emma Bridgewater factory with my mum. So I've got a picture with the factory, the date, some selfies we had a really lovely time and then this was Easter so we had an Easter egg hunt with some of the nieces and nephews I gave up chocolate for Lent and I actually found it a lot easier than I thought I would find it um, so this was my first taste of chocolate after about 46 days um, some Easter photos well one Easter photo of the dogs and then we went back to the caravan for the day. This is where um, the embellishment ends in the album because this is where I'm currently up to in my album. So I'm up to April. Um, and I don't really feel like there's such a thing as being behind when you are doing Project Life or scrapbooking in general. I used to get really caught up in, oh my gosh, I'm behind. Um, but now I'm really not that bothered. Um, as long as I keep up with taking photos and moving my photos onto my computer, I'm happy. So um, yeah, I'm really not not particularly bothered about whether I'm behind or not. So this was a trip, no, this was a trip um, to Surrey with some of our dog blogging friends and one of our friends, Amy, takes the most beautiful photos and she took some um, of the dogs and like of Archie and the Bluebells and it was so cute. Um, this collection, it's like a tea party collection or something and I got it in Hobbycraft. I think it's by Pink Paisley? No, not Pink Paisley, it's the other one, Pebbles. I think it's by Pebbles um, and it's really lovely. Lots of like tea party embellishments. I used it for um, the Emma Bridgewater factory because obviously like teacups and pottery and things but yeah um, and what I've done is I've just kept up with printing out my photos up to a certain point I haven't done it in a couple of weeks now but um, I tried to keep up with printing my photos and um, popping pattern paper in behind so that if I'm in the mood to do project life I can pick it up and it's all already there for me and all I need to do is embellish so um, yeah this is when I got my two baby bunnies, this is Poppet and this is Pumpkin. This is Cambridge Planicon, so I've got my invite. One of the little Lush bags because we had a demonstration from Lush, as you can see. 
um, and I've got some photos. So the papers and the cards I've used here were from the, I want to say it was the March or the April Brimbles box, um, but I've got some photo booth, photos, my lanyard, Geraldine, Daisy, Lisa, This was heading toward, like starting to head towards the end of term um, at school. We went into May here. So we were starting to do more fun things at school. So um, the kids, some of the kids did me like some cards. And um, I got quite a few cards from like the same children. Like they tend to want to make you like more than one. So I've kept some of them and then others I've cut up to put in here. Um, like one of them drew me a little picture. Apparently that's me. <laughs> Um, so I've popped that in here. This was sports day. Um, photos of the bunnies. This was some work that was done on the house. So we finally had the kitchen tiled and a new garden fence put in. And then this was a school trip to the beach. This is just some random photos. Not much happened this week because this was the week that the terror attack at the Ariana Grande concert happened in Manchester and I don't know if it's because it was close to home obviously being in the UK or just the nature of the attack, the fact that they were targeting young people and children. I was really deeply affected by it and um, I just didn't do anything that whole week really, I was really upset by it. Um, so yeah, not much went on that week. However, I did apply to university again to study an MA. So I I got my um, offer really quickly and I blew that up to 12 by 12 and... Um... Hi guys, sorry that the uh, footage cut out so suddenly. Um, my camera stopped recording and I could not get it to start recording again. It just would not do it. So here's some photos of the rest of the pages in the album that are all ready to scrapbook when I fancy it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, let me know down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.